Dear Karima, I would like to say thank you for your contributions to your community and becoming an example of Black excellence. Just by completing your academic law career, you have become somewhat of a superhero. Not only are you going against the odds, but you are showing Black and Brown girls that there is a spot waiting for us at the table. Thank you so much for your contributions, not only to yourself, but to your community. Sincerely, Timmy. Dear Jen, I wanted to start my letter off by saying thank you. Thank you for embodying the definition of a community leader. Thank you for being a champion of diversity and inclusion. And most importantly, thank you for being a mentor. When I first moved to Lancaster, it was difficult maneuvering the scene as a minority attorney. To be honest, I had never met a black female attorney until I went to law school. However, working for Barley Snyder, beside you, change that for the better. Every day, I get to work under a dominant force in the Lancaster legal community. Every day, I get to work next to someone who cares and who gives back to their local community. And finally, every day, I get to work under someone who looks like me. Jen, you've inspired me not only to do better, but to be better. Whether that be in a community outreach capacity or in the legal profession. Please, continue to inspire the community at large and the legal community like you've been doing for the past two decades. And most importantly, continue to inspire black female attorneys. Sincerely, Karima. Dear future leaders, on January 20, 2021, Amanda Gorman, a 22-year-old African-American female, recited the hill we climb at the inauguration of Joseph Biden. Ms. Gorman delivered the spoken word poem calling for unity and collaboration and togetherness. It was a powerful and transformative moment of a young adult using her voice and talent to create positive community change. As young adults, never underestimate the power of your voice to transform. Be your authentic self and use that voice to drive change in your own community. That voice can take many forms such as volunteering, mentoring, writing, public speaking, protesting, politics, or donating money and resources, to name a few examples. Just know that your voice can be the catalyst to positively change your community. Sincerely, Jennifer Craig and Carrie.